All right, Shalom. This is Gamal Yala. I have Great Millstone Atlanta. First and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukhak, Wadash. Shalom to all Akim that are pushing out this truth and sincerity. And also, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, um, it's going to be a quick lesson. All right, and um, I was just really meditating on this precept. All right, uh, when we were at camp this past weekend. All right, and. Um, you know, I'm just going to get into it. It's John, John chapter 15. All right. It says, I am the true vine and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it that it may bring forth more fruit. All right. Which purging is a purification process. So basically he's saying every every branch that's not producing anything, you know, if you're remaining stagnant and this truth and you're not adding to the uh, to the to the ministry or, you know, to the brotherhood, then he's going to take you away. All right. All right. Uh, you know, like a brother mentioned, I can't I think it was uh, the brother of Tazawam. He said that, uh, you know, if, if you're not useful, then, you know, at your job, then your manager will take you off the schedule. All right, now I'm going to keep reading. It says, Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. And that's really, right there is really what I want to focus on in this lesson. All right, uh, abiding in Yahweh Shai. That's probably what I'm going to name it, Lord willing. Abide in me, and I in you. All right, now let's look up that word abide. Matter of fact, let me let's put that on. All right, abide. All right, it says uh, remain, wait for, delay, okay, uh, dwell. Now, it uh, also says transitive sense, endure, sustain, stay firm, tolerate, bear. All right, so we have to remain and we have to wait for Yahweh Shai, okay? You know, long-suffering and patience, all right? Because, you know, this is not an easy walk, you know, uh, you know, walking the same walk that Yahweh Shai did. Okay, following after, after uh, you know, the, the straight path, you know, the, the positions of, of difficulty and the, and the demons that we deal with. Okay. All right. So, so uh, it says, uh, I'll go back to it. It says, abide in me and I in you as, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it in, except it abide abide in the vine and what is the vine the vine is Yahweh shy in the spirit okay which is gonna say says no more can ye except ye abide in me so you can't you can't do your own thing man all right we're totally reliant we're totally and utterly reliant on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shy for everything okay says i am the vine ye are the branches he that abideth in me and i in him the same forth bringeth much bringeth forth much fruit for for without me ye can do nothing see so we're nothing without yahweh shy all right so we have to wait on him we have to put our trust in him what does it say it said uh to endure to to bear with so we have to put up with yahweh shy we have to deal with him all right, we have, you know, that we don't have any choice, okay, because this is his program, this isn't our program, all right, it says, uh, if ye abide, it's like it says, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered, and men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned, so, and, and, and that, what's that fire, that's thermonuclear destruction, man, all right, because if, if you don't abide in Yahweh Shai, then basically you, you're going to get broken off from the from the vine and burned. Okay. If ye abide, verse 7, if ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what, what ye will and it shall be done unto you. All right. Wherein is my father glorified that he that ye bear much fruit. So shall ye be my disciples. All right. Uh, I keep going. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye and continue ye in my love. 
if you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. And that's what it's all about, keeping, doing the will of the Most High and keeping his commandments. All right? And, and doing, you know, being obedient, being an obedient son, as Yahweh Shai was. Even as I have kept my father's commandments, see, even as Yahweh Shai was, and abide in his love. All right, so you see that word abide keeps uh, recurring. All right, so so we have to abide in Yahweh. We have to, uh, you know, endure and tolerate and 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 bear with Yahweh Shai. Now, that's a, bear is another word that's synonymous with with abide. So we're gonna get uh, I think it's uh, Mark eight, I believe. All right, yeah, this is uh, Mark eight and thirty four. And when he called the people unto him with his with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. See. So we have, you know, we're following the same footsteps as Yahweh Shai. All right. So if, 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 you know, you got to be all in in this thing. If, if you are, you know, a part of this thing, then you basically have to have to uh, do the same things and mimic the same walk that Yahweh Shai did. All right. And just continue to push in, in, in truth and in faith says whosoever will come after me let him deny himself so you have to deny yourself as well all right because if you don't then you're gonna be if you if you don't deny yourself and you just let you know you you uh, uh allow yourself to do what you know allow the flesh to do whatever it wants to do then you're gonna be as that that branch that's gonna be broken off the vine and burned all right it says uh Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. All right. So take up your cross, you know, bear with your house shy, abide in him. OK, now let me see. Uh, I got I think I got one more precept. Let me find it. I think it was. Uh, I want to say it was um, in Proverbs. One second. believe it was uh you know what can't find it right now let me let me just see if I can find it real quick Salaki so bear with me one second I believe it was Proverbs 7 we know what uh I, I actually can't find it but this one is actually on point i'm gonna just start at proverbs 7 and 1 my son keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee all right so keep you know stay with you how shy stay with the commandments it says keep my commandments and live and and my law as the apple of thine eye so that's that's the that's the point is keep the most high and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai as the apple of your as the apple of your eye. You know, when you have your 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 mind focused on something, you know, and and uh and tunnel vision, all right, then you're not gonna let anything get in the way. Okay? Alright, so I mean you, you really only have two choices in this thing. Either you're gonna abide in Yahweh Shai and live, or you're just gonna be a disobedient nigga and choose death. All right, that's those are the two uh, choices that that you can make, you know, in this in this life, on this walk. All right, and as I said before, abiding in Yahweh Shai is, is it's not an easy task. Okay, of course, you know, we're gonna we're gonna meet temptations and, and we're gonna continue to uh, continue to catch hell. All right. And, and, you know, go through a lot of the uh, uh, afflictions that even, you know, the prophets in the past went through as well. All right. But, you know, the, the point is, is that 
endurance, okay? You know, to endure, all right? I guess we'll probably end it with that precept. Uh, I believe it's um, 2 Timothy 1. Maybe it's uh, Slack here. Give me one second. I believe it's... um, Hold on. Second Timothy. Yep. It says uh Second Timothy two and ten. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sakes, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Yahweh Shai Hamashiat with eternal glory. Alright, so the same way Yahweh Shai endured all things for the elect's sake, we have to do the same thing, all right? Okay? Um, you know, whatever it is, you know, um, doing the work, you know, catching hell, uh, you know, doing, helping out brothers, you know, uh, charity, okay? Um, you know, endurance, just keeping up that run, keeping up that fight, all right, so that we can get the hell up out of here. All right. And like I said, you know, uh, uh, abide in Yahweh Shai, you know, abide in the scriptures. You know, the scriptures say, blessed is he that readeth. OK, so live in Yahweh Shai. And I think there's actually one more uh, definition that I wanted to grab on that abide because there's another one. Yep. Uh, abiding, enduring, steadfast action of waiting abode see so waiting in patience okay wait in yahweh shy endure in yahweh shy okay all right so and like i said that was just a preset that that was just really a, a key word that stuck out with me uh when i was uh reading that chapter and i just wanted to bring that out in my lesson so with that hopefully you brothers were edified want to give all praises to yahweh by shim yahweh shy 